Hi, I'm Brother Dan with People's Baptist Church, and I'm excited to bring you another devotional series this week. This week, we're going to be focusing on one word again, and that word is this, grace. God's riches at Christ's expense. When we think of the word grace, I'd like to go back to the beginning, and I, I think that it's appropriate to do that. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 8, we see the Bible says, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Wow. How amazing is that? Noah didn't necessarily deserve what he was getting. He, he uh, was just a man. He was a sinner. He had the same condition everybody else had. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Verses 1 through 7 of Genesis chapter 6 set the dire, dire scene that the world is sinning, that God's not happy with it. In fact, God's repented that he even made man because of how vastly they've turned from him and forgotten their purpose in creation was for fellowship with God. But Noah found grace. Noah was there. Noah was ready to receive that. Oh man, what an amazing story that because of the grace of God, mankind was preserved and all of us can trace our lineage back to Noah and his three sons. Wow. That's amazing. We know the story of the flood. We know that uh, Noah for 120 years would build that boat. No one had ever seen rain before. The dew is what watered the grass at that point. And Noah's out here preaching that there's a flood coming, a great flood, a worldwide catastrophe. And people didn't believe him and they mocked him. But Noah lived by that grace through faith and was able to do what God told him to do. Our passage ends in Genesis chapter 6, and it says this in verse 22. Thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Because Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, because Noah trusted God, because Noah knew that God would be true to his word, Noah did what God told him to do. He followed God's commands. There's the challenge for you and me. Oh, we have grace. We got up this morning. We're ready for the day. We've got the grace to live today. Are we going to do what God said? That's the only real thing to do with grace is to live God's command. We can't just live grace and do it with what we want. That's wasting grace. But if I'm going to fully implement grace into my life, I'm going to do what God said. Why? Because God gave me today. And it's only right that I live for God in the grace that he's given me. Man, I hope you'll join us in the next few days as we look at grace, as we take this opportunity to charge forward into the Bible and see grace being applied and grace being uh, explained to us in many other different ways. I think it's going to be exciting. I think it'll be challenging because sometimes we don't always live grace biblically? Is that possible in your life, in my life? I think it is. But you know what? I think there's a challenge to live a grace-filled life and to do what God said. That's our opportunity to live a grace-filled life. Well, I hope you'll uh, join us throughout this week. If you can, take a moment, like, share, subscribe. By doing that, you'll be a blessing to others and you'll help out our, our church. All right, you have a great day. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.